hello guys welcome to my channel and uh, we are dealing with edit menu items operation and we have completed uh, most of this operation in here we need to complete uh, find find next replace and go to in this video we will be dealing with uh, go to double click this and go to this method handler so we will be writing uh, the code for uh, go to operation here it need so what it needs to do is it need to show a dialog box and get the line number where to go where to go point the cursor to so there are two cases here the line number is valid valid in the case the line number is um, within the total number of lines let's say there are 10 lines and the user selects 15 so in that case the line number becomes invalid so we need to raise an warning for that and also that if it is valid go to the particular line and uh, by default go to one so let's get started instead of uh, designing a separate form for this we will be using what's available built in so let's have a string here which is input and we will be using uh, this class called interaction interaction dot input box so this class has a option input box we could use that let me see so it's like a default dialog box it is available within a oops it's not available here let me add a reference first so that it will be visible add reference and go to assemblies so let's search here microsoft dot visual basic so you need to add microsoft.visualbasic in order to use this so this will bring a dialog box that asks for the line name in which the user needs the cursor to go to so it's as simple instead of uh, developing an, a new form for this and uh, writing code for that you can uh, just get this in a single line so this should be line number this should be the title so here go to is the title and by this is the default response and it should be one we need to check whether the line given by the user is greater than the line that is currently available so let's have a, this in try block let's have a cache block as well for this try block so any of the exception that occurs here will be thrown right away so this is to basically check whether the user has given the right input or not and let's have end line is equal to we need to convert uh, this string we get here into an integer so that we have a convert dot convert class it will have a convert int uh, 32 it's enough for now so it has a method called uh, to int you can use any int you want and uh, you need to give uh, the input so it is a string so we are converting the string to an integer now and we have uh, to consider these cases if the line is greater than the line that is available uh, so we are going to get all the lines and compare it, compare uh, this with length total number of lines so if the line given by the user is greater than the uh, lines that are currently available so if the user has selected 15 when there are only 10 lines go to this so we will be uh, showing a warning here so message box dot show off total lines in the file is text area dot so we are going to give the number of lines first and then we will be giving a uh, what's our account reach 
and then uh, let's queue message on message box dot okay uh, let's have this as an uh, error so icon as error and close this so whenever the user selects a line that is more than what's currently available it will uh, show this uh, warning message and then uh, when uh, the user selects a valid line number we need to go to this particular line let's have uh, an array string of array of strings first and uh, get this here and we need to iterate uh, through, through this array and let's have uh, length is as 0 and we need to iterate it uh, so far in uh, let's do this c sharp way i mean c plus plus way line minus 1 i plus plus so we are going to get the length in each iteration what we are basically trying to do is we are getting the length of each of the lines one by one one after the other and adding it to this length length variable and finally we will get something so when we get something let's get the focus to text area so when we get something we can just queue select select and uh, specify this value here actually you need to give the length so this length will uh, serve as the starting index of selection and uh, we need to give the length as zero so that the cursor will go to that particular point where the user intended to go so i think we have completed this go to part and whenever uh, the user has not given a proper input that is when we are expecting an uh, integer and he has given some uh, string we need to raise a warning here enter a valid integer give the title as wrong input and uh, just fill it okay and the message box icon as error So the, now the demo is ready to show. Let's start the application. Let's have a number of lines here. And now we can click go to. It will uh, show a dialog box uh, which is asking for the line number. Let's give it as 5. Actually, it's not selecting what we intended to select X. When I give 5, it's in the fourth line. It's basically because we need to have a plus 1 here. It's basically to account for the new line character. Now, if we just start it, it should work. And go to please work five yeah one two three four five yeah it's in the fourth line let's check it again eight one two three four five six seven eight yeah let's check it for wrong input yeah total number of lines here is 13 yes absolutely and let's check it for string input yeah and a valid integer so everything works well so that's it for this video 
like and share this video subscribe to my channel for more videos to come so if you have any doubts regarding this feel free to comment in this video i will uh, answer as quick as possible so take care